joint meeting of Manipur University Community, Ministry of HRD and State Government reaches a mutual understanding. Supporters of 24-hour ban called by Zariang Rong Baudi along Imphaljiri Road set on fire two trucks and one passenger cruiser and destroy one cruiser early this morning. Students erupt in various places under the initiative of UCM against any threat to state's territorial integrity and against extension of Article 371 Clause A in Manipur. Eleven opposition parties form Committee of Political Party, a joint committee to face various issues of the state. And Governor Dr. Naj Mahaptala appeals for utilization of barren lands and other natural resources to boost the state's economy. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Shubusham with the top stories and the latest news at this hour. A joint meeting held between representatives of Musu, Muta and Musa with uh, the Joint Secretary of Ministry of HRD, G.C. Hossef, including Chief Minister Birain, regarding removal of V.C. Pandey from Manipur University, concluded today with a mutual understanding. A memorandum of understanding was signed uh, agreed by both the parties. As per the memorandum, the fact-finding committee will be reconstituted as an independent two-member inquiry committee headed by retired Chief Justice High Court of Meghalaya, T. Nandakumar, and a retired Vice Chancellor of Manipur University by replacing the two official members in the existing fact finding committee. To issue relevant order for the Independent Inquiry Committee on August 17, to send VC Pandey on leave during the period of inquiry, and until follow up action are taken on the inquiry report by a competent authority, preferably within a period of 15 days, to make available the copies of the inquiry reports to Musu, Muta, and Musa, and to appoint a registrar as the nodal officer for the inquiry committee. It was also agreed that if the inquiry committee finds facts proving allegations on VC Pandey as true, and if VC Pandey's leave is Related to the ongoing inquiry, VC in charge, Professor W. Biswanath will be allowed to join his office. Removal of the AP Pandisi, Masigi Kongjinga Moina, Peg Pinding Team, Amashemba, Sigi Matanga, Warishanaki, Akoina, Peg Pinding Team, Si Independent Inquiry Committee, Amo Hiningba, Madriduda, Member Anina Saba, Hibersida, Yanaki. During the period of inquiry and after call, until follow up action, the report is public. Professor A.P. Pandesi, University of Lakhtaba, has been able to do it. The inquiry period is 15 days. That is up to them. The inquiry period is a inquiry report. It is a public report. Mazi University the Gima on Lipta Tonga Dabani, Ayan Karigumba, Akoina Pami Bamong, Akoni Yanagi Bamong to the Lagadi, Akoi temporarily, Matam Karagi Oina, Akoi strikes in Nam Daraga, Mayangi pending work, University Gi, Masi Koilo Senaba, Mayangi, Apambasi, Panganaba, Koyona Zagani. Bunt supporters of the 24 hour bun called by Zaliang Rong Baudi, Assam Manipur Naglan along National Highway 37 in Faljiri Road since yesterday. Reportedly destroyed two goods trucks and two passenger cruisers early this morning. The vehicles plying along Imphal Jiri Road coming toward Jiri were destroyed in different places of Tamenglong and Noni districts in the wee hours today. Impact News sources said the two trucks loaded with potatoes and onions were torched near Kaifundai in Tamenglong district by a group of unidentified bun supporters. The protesters also set on fire one of the two passenger cruisers and destroyed the other one beyond recognition between Kotlin and Saijang areas of Noni district. A team of police and security personnel have already rushed at the spot to contain and inspect the situation. 
It may be recalled that Zaliang Rongbaudi alleged NSC and IM cadres of intervening in the student union's election and of kidnapping leaders of Zaliang Rong Youth Front and Zaliang Rong Students Union. The bond was called by Zaliang Rongbaudi against the government's failure in nabbing the perpetrators. Sit-ins were staged at different places today under the initiative of United Committee Manipur UCM against any threat to the state's territorial integrity by Indonaga Framework Agreement and against extension of Article 371 Clause A in Manipur. Thangwaiban Apunba Nupi Lup Thanil staged a sit-in at Thangwaiban while Chingmairong Social Welfare Association, Chingmairong Maning Sing Lup and Apunba Maira Lup held a protest meet against the same at Chingmairong Kongnang Ani Karag. Nongmaibung Women Development Maira Paibi Association also staged a sit-in at Nongmaibung Kaitel Macha and Maira Paibis of Kurai Sarjor Laikai Maira staged sit-in in their area. Moreover, diesel auto rickshaws, drivers at Rimsgate and auto rickshaw drivers and on Association of Jekon also ceased service against the same. Naurem Thong Bazaar Women Welfare Association and Uripo Kangchub Road Auto Rickshaw Owners and Drivers Cooperative Society Limited also organized protest meets condemning the framework agreement and extension of Article 371 Clause A in Manipur. Women market vendors of Naurem Thong Kaitel suspended their work and staged sit-in at the market. Similarly, passenger auto rickshaws under Uripo Kangchub Road Auto Rickshaw Owners and Drivers Cooperative Society Limited halted services and agitated in front of Naurem Thong Market. Various placards were used during the protest. Members of Uripo Gyambem Lekai, Marapai B. Nupi Loop also staged a sit-in at Uripo Gyambem Lekai against implementation of Article 371 Clause A in Manipur and uh, any threat to the disintegration of the state on account of the framework agreement signed between NSC and IM and the Government of India. Committee of Political Party, a joint committee comprising of 11 opposition parties, has been formed to face various issues of the state. The same was intimated to media persons during a press meet held at Iravad Bhavan today by President of Communist Party of India, Manipur State, L. Sotin Kumar. He also said there will be three conveners of the committee. The three conveners are member of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee, R. K. Anand, member of Communist Party of India, K. H. Surjant, and member of NEIDP, O. Malaysia. Sotin Kumar also said that there will exist a core committee comprising of one representative each from the 11 political parties. The committee will be constituted of two or three members each from the 11 opposition parties. <laughs> That's not what we are intending to do. committee Decision low, low one three lay back city. Low again, I see daily the Chalag and I see freeway given a quit. I don't to be a day. Nothing getting a see a quick hello. I have weapons and I see daily toning. Quite a poison to reach academy. Hello, I don't know my daily Chalag and I see Pumse Manipur Mian and I see Wari Mans in here. Head Tangdu, head Lita, Wakalo, Lomasi, Pidding, Edequa, Halore, weapons here. Mother, we feel it to Bolo. 
Governor of Manipur, Dr. Najma Abdullah, has appeals to everyone in the state to utilize barren and unproductive lands and resources in the state to boost the state's economy. The governor made a statement during the inauguration of a training hostel at National Bio Resource Park in Harauro of Imphal East District, established to propagate orchids in the state. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. Najma Abdullah lauded the initiatives of Institute of Bio Resource and Sustainable Development (IBSD) to promote and propagate orchids and other medicinal plants in Manipur. She also expressed pride in stating that Manipur occupies eighth position in biodiversity in the world and maintains that it would be prudent to conserve and promote biodiversity of the state. The governor said rice, wheat and pulses are abundantly produced in states like Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. However, orchids and medicinal plants are rare and exotic. She opined that focusing solely on production of rice, wheat and pulses will not boost the state's income and advocated promotion of economically viable plants such as orchids and other medicinal plants indigenous to the state. Manipur is among the eight hotspots in the world. Two of them are in Manipur. We are proud of our biodiversity and we should see that we propagate it, we preserve. I am very happy that you developed this orchid, cultivation of orchid. Rice and wheat and dal cannot increase the, our farmer's income. It is only when we do the cash crop, value-added crops, then only we can. We can buy rice from Bihar, we can buy rice from UP, from anywhere. But we cannot buy orchids and the different varieties of medicinal plants that we have over here. So let us use the nature's bounty to the best for the benefit of our state, of our people, for their prosperity. MPCC has demanded public clarification from the BJP-led state government for suspending the special Manipur Legislative Assembly session of August 16. Addressing media persons at Congress Bhavan today, Congress Legislature Party leader, former Chief Minister Okrami Bobi, termed it unfortunate that the special session was not held, which he opined was the non challenge attitude by the state government in the wake of not introducing the Framework Agreement Bill in monsoon session of the Parliament. The opposition leader maintained that if in case the bill is introduced in the parliament it might be forcefully passed by the ruling party which is obviously the majority party and hence a special session to discuss the matter beforehand for necessary actions is the need of the hour. It will be termed the strengthening of the commitment of not letting the Indonaga framework agreement disintegrate the state by the recent monsoon session as a good step. The CLP leader, however, asserted that there has been many new developments since then and hence a detailed discussion regarding the matter would be in the interest of the state. Expressing his discontentment at the suspension of the special session of August 16, Okrami Bobi accused the BJP-led state government for making a mockery out of the system by acting on whims and without proper communication with stakeholders. And he even pointed out that the speaker was out of station when the state government called the session earlier. The opposition leader reiterated that even if the framework agreement bill was not introduced in the recent parliament session, firm assurance should be given to the people of the state that the framework agreement will not harm the state at any cost. <laughs> Wapam Yaura Yaudabra, Wapam Yorum Batarga di Yaroi Hydra. She did a special session of Pamaga, Bilisi put talking it up, Aquina Hana. Unanimous over house key resolution of Malorga. Hana Tagi Badugi Matakta, La Iba Development Sigmatungina. Article three seventy one A. Machina Singba, Mayam Singshe. Same principles acquired to apply to Agadi, Manipurgi, Konagi, Apun Basatam, the Kari, Kairpala, Yani, Leroy. Hyvana Singba, Mayam Singshe, Akoi. Akanga hi mayam jing legal expert sing mayanga Pajana Tanaraga appropriate resolution of a house the Lauraga Bilzi other parliament the putok in the Hana Kanga Logodom ni Maduna Tradia Koi Yava Shuk Amga Moy Hydra Hana Kanga Logodom ni Hana pressure pigadomni Aduga Hana Tanagadomni Madu Kanga Matam Dada House Da Idi Tokpana Hana appropriate Oigadra Hyvene. 
On the other hand, Okrami Bobi further inquired whether the statements made by one BJP spokesperson on Manu Hutna, a daily discussion program of Impact News regarding acknowledgement of framework agreements by chairperson of Parliamentary Standing Committee, Chidambaram is plausible, stating that Ketrimim Bhavananda, a Rajas uh, Rajya Sabha MP of BJP is also a member of the Parliamentary Standing Committee. He asserted that the responsibility of the committee and many other such committees is to submit reports of various issues to the ministry concerned. Responding to media queries regarding Congress Party's stance on removal of AFSPA from various northeast states, Ibobi maintains that the party is ready to extend all out support to repeal the act from Manipur if the law and order situation in the state improves. He further stated that the Congress during its rule removed AFSPA from seven assembly segments. Sri Sidambaram na chairman of the Parliamentary Standing Committee ki committee dona mohi si Sri Ravi su kauva Home Secretary su kaurga kaura kanda da wa hangab kanda da ki status si yaure hai bese brief tauva hai bataare ne Madhugi report to government media ki Minister of Home Affairs ta. Maduguri report, Pikat Paneva, findings to committee duna Pikat Pagi Wadaneva, Adu committee dugi role Karisulatieva, Adu the Minister of Home Appears as you later money, Lettes, Law in order, North East Key. Congress ki go menu, you were you, BJP go menu, you were you, BJP ni Hydra Koi, Tumin Labour Koi, Shok Lai Leroeva Koi, Shok Lai Leroy, Masik Tangdang, Mam Kangri Pauti, Masik Tangdang Bama, Kangan and Amatawusti, State Government Gi Daita Yam Leva, Moin and Lake Hokta Sien by Yarweva, I quit ye Daita ni. Manipur kai ke dabo wapam je haujik shu matung dasu shu lai lai roi hai dana ay koi dai tau ye hai dana haujik lai riba gomen sinna chong tukpi yu wa Manipur ki praja jing maang da. North East India Development Party NEIDP in a press release informed that as per the directive of the Supreme Court, case hearing for election petition case number 10, 2017 will be held at the High Court of Manipur on August 17. The case was filed at the Supreme Court to clarify doubts regarding misconducts during election results declaration of NEIDP candidate Sapam Keba during the 11th Manipur Legislative Assembly 2017 election of Patsoi constituency. Forest Minister T. H. Sham Kumar reportedly vandalized and disrupted the ambience of Hotel Classic Grant on August 14, around 10 p.m. Publicity Secretary of Chingmerong Development Organization Yumnam Nauba has urged not to repeat such acts, inducing fear to the employees of the hotel. Addressing media persons today, Naubi urged Minister Sham Kumar to give assurances that such acts will not be repeated again in future. Simurong Mamang Lekai the Labour, Classics, Grande, Hotenda, Manipugi, Minister Amasu Oidiba, Ti Sam Kumarna, Hotengi, Malchang, Akai Atoi, Tolamba, Amadi, Hot Hotel Sigi, Stop the Aki Akang, Tolamba, Adubu, Aikogi Organization, Asina, Kendem Tawi, Tagdok Asibumba Asi, Mahat Amuk Anna, Tobi Danaba, Hajari, Hoten Asi, Lekai the Mak Natraga, Laipa Kisu, Saktok Chaningai, Oiraba, Amani, Mafam Masida Laipaki Lusingba Amana Asigumba Laibak Masa Tadaba Ton Basi Yamna Ikai Janingaini Onerevan Minister Na Togdok Asigumba Asi Amukana Tol Loroi Haina Tazaba Bibirao Haina Simerong Development Organization Na Hajari a team of Imphal West District Commando acting on a tip-off conducted coordinate search operation at Singjame Thongam Lekai and arrested an active member of band militant KCPPWG People's War Group at 5.40 p.m. on August 13. The arrested person is identified as Nong Thombam Sanahal Singh, alias Kunung Jao, 35 years, son of N. Gukul from Kongba Uchekon Chongabi Lekai. A letter had written by another member of the I beg your pardon. Proscribed outfit identified as Lenin Mitei was also found to be in his possession. Sanahal is be also believed to be president of Socialist Students Union of Manipur SSUM. A case was registered in this regard at Singjamai Police Station and investigations are underway. 
People today remembered Pibam Chitranjan on his 14th death anniversary. Manipuri Students Federation MSF observed the anniversary at his birthplace in Sega Road, Takelambam Lekai, where people paid floral tributes in homage to the brave soul. A statue of Pibam Chitranjan was also unveiled at Chitranjan Memorial Complex in Bishnupur as part of the observance. MSF also led a large number of students in taking out a silent mass rally from Sega Road, Takelambam Lekai till Kasham part traffic point and headed towards stadium ground. Manipur police tried to hold the rally from reaching Kashampat Junction, however, to no avail. A public meeting and a blood donation camp was held at Tidim Ground as part of the observance. It may be recalled that Chitranjan set himself alight on August 15, 2004, demanding withdrawal of the controversial Armed Forces Special Powers Act, AFSPA, and succumbed to burns on August 16. Chitranjan set himself ablaze in Bishnupur and was admitted to regional Institute of Medical Sciences rims with 85% burns. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on the main commemoration event of the 14th death anniversary of Pibam Chitranjan held at Tidim Ground. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English News. The main event to commemorate the 14th death anniversary of Pibam Chitranjan, a former advisor of Manipuri Students Federation, Bishnupur, who sacrifices life against AFSPA, was held at Tidim Ground. A public meeting was held to mark the observance where many students and people attending the event paid a two-minute silence in homage to the brave heart. Taking part in the event, President of MSF, N.G. Milan, asserted that the sacrifice made by Chitranjan, who gave up his life, should not be forgotten by the present, present nor the future generation. He maintained that the right to live given by I beg your pardon. The right to life given by Indian constitution is the most important right. However, under the shadow of the draconian law of AFSPA, many civilians were killed. He said, the decision of Chitranjan to expose the draconian law to the rest of the world is for the people of Manipur. Milan asserted that MSF will continue its movement against the black law until and unless it is completely rooted out from the state. Mio ibu amoi na poklak pomo tamis dah aku lagi hing bagi hak ado, ado later bata arga di aku lagi macam tu jadi Indian Constitution ni makah ada piri ba right to freedom of speech and expression dan sing ba ada ke right to property na na tuan tuan mama ki right piri ba meh amdo masih itu lagi he na maru orang bodi hing bagi hak sini right to life sini ado na right to life pvu ha besar mana perlu tu jenis federation na India lengak amu dengan sikit pali lengak sikit Tamzaba, apil ni, dabi ni, adu ga, loina loina na, apsua 1950 Manipur, pun muda gigi, lakthok tapat, lakthok tapat tarik di, ekoi tongan tongan, mukhongzeng sing Manipur, miam ga, khusam naga, ekoi cangsi nana bangga si sulep tri, MSF kita thauna tung dasu halu ay, mukhongzeng miam na tamzeng. Tangjing Air Crash Memorial Committee Chingamaka today observed the 27th anniversary memorial of the August 16, 1991 Tangjing Hill plane crash incident that killed 69 persons. The commemoration event was held at the residence of former minister I. Hemochandra in, Chinga, in Singjame, Chingamaka. Family members of the deceased offered floral tributes at the portraits of the departed souls on the occasion. It may be recalled that the Indian airline IC257 Boeing 737 flying from Calcutta to Imphal crashed at 12.45 on 16 August 1991 at Tangjing Ching. Former Minister I. Hemochandra's father, the then former Deputy Chief Minister of Manipur, I. Tom Pog, one MLA and many other eminent personalities of the state were killed in the plane crash. Uh, 
the 27th death anniversary of former Minister of Education and RD Kaisham Bira was observed by family members at Oinam Mamanglekai Bishnupur district today. It may be mentioned that Kaisham Bira became the Minister of State Edu Education, Revenue, Law, RD and Panchayati Raj in 1988 after winning the election from 25 Oinam constituency in 1984. He was re-elected from the same constituency in 1990 election. Taking part in the memorial observance, MLA Oinam and Chairman of Manipur Pollution Control Board Khadi and Village Industry L. Radhakishore lauded the dedication and sacrifices made by the former minister for the welfare of the society and maintained that the present generation need more leaders like him. It may be recalled that Kashan Bira was one of the many victims who perished in the plane crash at Tang Jing of 1991. Registrar of NIT Manipur R.K. Lalit in a press release has refuted the accusation by Manipur People's Parties uh, regarding conduction of interview for recruitment of NIT faculty at a hotel in West Bengal. He assured that efforts are on to conduct the interview following strict guidelines including Supreme Court's order. Students of government colleges are facing inconveniences as allegedly these colleges in the state do not offer honours and general courses at undergraduate level. Addressing media persons at Manipur Press Club today, a guardian of a student, M. Meghachandra, asserted that students' rights are being subjugated as government colleges of Manipur do not offer both honours and general courses at undergraduate level as per UGC's guidelines. He stated that in the past seven to eight years, rate of students' failing in examinations has increased as students are not offered the option to choose for honours or general courses. He questioned why government colleges are unable to provide both the courses when government aided and private colleges following the syllabus of Manipur University can offer both the courses in the fifth and sixth semester. He drew the attention of the government to look into the matter at the earliest. <laughs> ไปกี่ประเทศที่ตกจากกี่ให้ประชาชนที่ทุนอันนี้มาขังปะคุณต้องจ่ายไปสิมาเงาปะมาสิกุมบัสิเลยแต่นั่นนะปะเอาก็
Member of Board of Directors Salai Holdings Private Limited, M. Somojit, demanded befitting reasons as to why Jan Oshadi services through, through which subsidized medicines are provided by Smart Medicals as an agent under Chief Minister Gi Hakshil Gitengbang CMHT scheme has been put on hold. He asserted that the move will bring plights to both people and entrepreneurs of the state. Addressing media persons at the conference hall of Salai, Somojit stated that Smart Medicals was given one-year tenure under nationwide Jan Oshadi as per the agreement signed between Bureau of Pharma Public Sector Undertakings of India, BPPI, State Government and Smart Medicals on April 16. He said Smart Medicals played a, a vital role in supplying medicines at subsidiary prices for underprivileged sections of the state. He termed it unfortunate that without proper notice, the service has been put on hold. He maintained that under the service, Mart Medicals as an agent has supplied medicines to more than 2,000 patients at reasonable prices and even procured medicines which weren't on the list. Hospital Kurdusu, Masigi, restricts in the Ma, Lakodiki patients in the Yam inconvenient over Pimu Mayam Chenakre, Madugi the Muktasu, Kuki patients in Yakan, the Isma Medicosna, Nuata Bilto Fonduksari, Lunina Gomenasu, Masigi Maramda, Yam Mayaxing the Sendok Nabuki Mutasu, Smart Medicoski, Makedigi, Gomen the request of Zeri. Indigenous Peoples Association of Kanglai Pag Ipak Manipur in a press release notified that the association will henceforth give special attention to the inadequacies of the health sector among other ventures undertaken by the association. The press release also informed that an investigation team has been established in this regard. MLA Kairau Lorembam Rameshwar has launched a one-month-long cleanliness drive as part of the annual so social service camp of Laishang Hidden Protection and Development Authority LHPDA Kanchipur. The cleanliness drive commencing today will end on September 16. Three saplings will also be planted from main gate of Manipur University in Kanchipur till Kyamgai Shantipur Thong. All Manipur Atya Patya Association, AMAPA, in a press release informed that the trial come final selection for all Manipur Atya Patya sub-junior boys and girls for participating in the upcoming 27th Boys and Girls Sub-Junior National Championship 2018 will be held on August 20 at 7 in the morning at Lema Pokpam Association Ground. The championship is scheduled to be held at Palampul Palampur in Himachal Pradesh from September 27 to 30 this year. Now, before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Joint meeting of Manipur University Community, Ministry of HRD and State Government reaches a mutual understanding. Supporters of 24-hour band called by Zaliang Rong Baudi along Ifaljiri Road set on fire two trucks and one passenger cruiser and destroy one cruiser early this morning. Students erupt in various places under the initiative of UCM against any threat to state territorial integrity and against extension of Article 371 Clause A in Manipur. Eleven opposition parties from Committee of Political Party are joint committee to face various issues of the state. And Governor Dr. Najma Abdullah appeals for utilization of barren lands and other natural resources to boost the state's economy.